A blessed morning, one and all. This is your apostle, Elijah Peter Chambers. Once more, with a pounding word. Hallelujah. A harsh one, and also an intriguing one. And my topic this morning, my story, put behind bars for speaking, thus said the Lord. And our theme, born to win. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We heard, I heard of a religious concert that will be held by this Obia team, by the present government. We don't have no moral law, no moral rights. If you go in a church, you will have to pack up with Obia and witchcraft. Buffer it, sell out to yourself, mix up with Freemasonry, large and dealerants, and the Illuminati. And you want to keep, keep gospel concert? Listen, Jamaican people should boycott it. But I know the type of people that we're dealing with in Jamaica. They support, even the pastors, many of these pastors, they come out so that they are fully in support with the evil which exposes that they are not of the kingdom of God. Because if the Lord reveals to us that these men have sold their soul to the devil and they are using Christianity as a facade, they are using Christianity as a cover-up. Some of these men in the cabinet, they drink out a skullhead. Some of them have on cold ring, obia ring, kiad ring. Some of these men, they have sleep with mad men, sleep with mad women, and had sex with them in their rear end. Nasty wretch, some of these politicians, they're evil. Yet they want to come into the house of the Lord. Listen, we don't know worthy. We don't know worthy if you go into the house of the Lord. So I don't know where we don't get this thing from, but we don't want to keep um, gospel concert. I repent, you know, if you go repent and turn from the wicked ways. The scripture text today comes from St. John 10, reading from verse 7, and it says here, Then said Jesus un unto them, again, verily, I, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever come before me are the thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door by me if any man enter in he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. But I came that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Glory be to God. When we saw the, the phenomena of the SSL phenomena. And we realize that the present government, they are covering. Anybody remember the cyber attack? Anybody remember when they flushed out everything out of the last computer in a particular department because they want to cover? They are going to do the very thing with the SSL. Because listen, they are covering, they are doing everything in their power to cover themselves so that they can go back into power to carry out the, the evil purpose. And as I said, Jamaica is doomed with Andrew Holness. Anyhow, Andrew Holness continue. Listen, and I know some of you, you're going to be upset with what I'm saying. And I'm talking to the pastors of Jamaica. It shows that many of you don't have a relationship with God. All of you jumping up and down around the pulpit spitting up in a mic and say yeah i say yeah preach when you're an agent of hell the bible said that listen if you're a friend of the world you cannot be a friend of god how is it that you support this present government using scriptures to justify your evil listen daniel worked for the king king belchazar yet daniel stood against the laws that were implemented so all of you also now read bible and you reading it upside down and justifying yourself like you're righteous 
I want you to understand this morning that the Bible said that without righteousness, without holiness, no man shall see God. Righteousness exalts a nation. Sin is a report. The Bible said that you are the salt of the world. And if the Lord, if the salt has lost its savior, many of you, you have lost your savior. The salt has been taken away from you because what this present government has, in, in, has invested in your ministry, the pumping a lot of money. That's why many of you backing this man. Listen, it was an, yesterday a young man came into the barber shop where I was and he said to me, Pastor, I want to sow a seed. And I heard in my spirit, the Lord said, don't take his money. And he was there, I want to sow a seed to get saved. And the Lord said, don't take it. I said, it's, all you need to do is to, is to make it right, repent and turn from your wicked ways. Hallelujah. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sin. Listen, I don't need your money. Hallelujah. You can't bribe me with money. Because some of you think that because I'm on social media, I am looking money. Listen, I don't get a red cent from social media from the time that I've gone viral four times on social media space. I have never gotten a red cent from social media. So all of you thought that I am on social media making money. Listen, I'm not making any money. I am blessed and highly favored. Glory be to God. The blessings of the Lord make it rich, but it added no sorrow. And I told you over and over, none of you can touch. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The blessings that God has bestowed upon my life. The SSL fraud that is being covered up by the present government. Who, who will believe them if they cover up corruption? To move, cover, cor they cover corruption for the move that they make. The AI, the artificial intelligence, which is a robot that will replace human beings in their decisions, which means that the global world will be run and controlled by robots. Let me break it down for you. In the workplace, many of you are going to lose your job. Robots are going to take it over. That's where Andrew Hull is a kid. So all of you are on up and down and I talk about a progress and prosperity and that he's doing well. Allah will not tell. Every very one of you will be controlled by robots. The global world has changed since 2020. Robots will take your job, your sports, your bank, your finance. You will be governed by the rule, governed and ruled by robots. The Prime Minister introduction of the AI, the artificial intelligence suggests he is a part of the one world order and he has sold himself to the devil don't you see what is happening to Andrew Willis? all he's doing is just carry on, carrying out the agenda of, of, of the one world order Chris Brown concert exposes that their agenda if this evil man continues with Jamaica many will Go jobless when the AI system is fully implemented. Robots will take your place. The leader of Jamaica doesn't care about your future. He cares about enrich or um he cares about enriching himself, his friends, his families. The Lord reveals to me that the next disgrace is coming is to the call center in Jamaica. The corruption and the fraud connected to these organizations will bring national disgrace, says God. That's the next disgrace coming. And some of you say that I am false and I'm a false prophet. Dog, eat your supper. The Bible says that in verse 10 of St. John chapter 10, verses 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, to destroy. But I came that you might have life more abundantly all over jamaica this week there was an outburst of citizens in this land pertaining to the ssl fraud that is taking place and 
that they are doing investigation. So Nigel, you know, say, you know, lie and wicked. You know, go and do everything to cover up you know, evil. Because this is what the Lord reveals to me. That most of the, the representatives in the, in, in, in the cabinet of the present cabinet, their hands are in SSL transaction, SSL investment. And that is why the Prime Minister and Mr. Nigel doing everything in their power to protect the flow of SSL. But listen, as I said to you, there was a cyber crime in the last evidence on the computer. You wipe it out, but listen, the next next disgrace, you can't nobody can wipe out the evidence. So dog eat on a supper. The Bible said you shall. The Bible declares in the great book that there is an unseen eyes watching over the evil and the good. Hallelujah. God is seeing everything. And let me tell you something. The people of Jamaica are going to turn against you. It doesn't matter what you do. I, I realize that you're doing everything in your power for, to get the favor of the people of Jamaica. But they're going to turn.